بسم الله وصلاة وسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله أكبر I ask Allah the Almighty to grant us good in this life as well as the hereafter and that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with guidance and nur or light in our hearts and that we can set a positive example for others and that we do those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that we supplicate to him he loves that we ask for his forgiveness and that we ask for guidance from him and him alone and that we ask for whatever we need and want not being excessive and foolish in our supplication however asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and grant us those things which we need to help us be better servants to him and those things which we want so call on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're gonna call on anyone call on the one who created you we don't see him we don't always feel as if our supplications are being answered but they are it may not come when you think it's appropriate it may not come when you feel it should come however Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all hearing and all seeing and Allah dislikes that you supplicate to other than him he hates that because that's polytheism for example if you pray to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if you supplicate to him or to Jesus sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or to the angel Jibreel or any of the angels or to the spirit to the jinn or to the saints all of this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates and views as the most grievous of sins and he also dislikes that you have arrogant and think you are f not in need of him subhanahu wa ta'ala for the person who rejects faith in totality and the person who feels that they are self-sufficient and they're not in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then this individual as well Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates this characteristic and hates that a person would do this would be arrogant thinking that they are not in need of the creator of the heavens and earth and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Kul ad'u rabbukum alladhi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the person who is arrogant in their supplication th thinking that they are free from needing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they will enter into the hellfire they will enter into a wicked abode you know they will have a wicked abode wa'iyadhan billah may Allah protect us from that all of us want his paradise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ اَدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ إِنَّ الَّذِينِ يَسْتَخْبِرُونَ عَنْ إِبَادَتِي سَيَرْخُنُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ Allah the Almighty says say Your, uh, uh, I'm sorry and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and he said your Lord meaning Allah ad'uni you know supplicate to me, to me supplicate and ask of me those things which you need those things which you want 
ask for my help and my support and my favor and my bounties and I will I will give to you so when you supplicate to me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's guaranteed that he will answer it he will he will respond to your supplication and then he says and verily those who are arrogant thinking that they're free from worshiping me inna ladhina yastakhbiruna an ibadati fa sayyadkhununa jahannama dakhirin that those people who are arrogant and do not worship me they think they're they're free f and from needing to worship me and free from depending upon me and think that they they are self-sufficient that they will enter the hellfire they will enter the hellfire and and uh, that will be their final destination وَعِيَاذًا billah. may Allah protect us from that because often we become very dependent upon many things and many people in the creation but yet we refuse or we forget to turn to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who can rectify our condition in our affairs who can help us in everything that we're trying to do rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala know for a fact that He subhanahu wa ta'ala can help you and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and to bless us with al-nafia you know with beneficial knowledge and, 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 and provisions ample good provisions that are lawful and most importantly of all deeds that are accepted by Allah things that he he loves and I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those people who supplicate to him often those people who he is pleased with those people who depend on him and seek his assistance his favor and his support wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam